Do we need an alternate host? Perfect. Are you busy? No, no, I, I, I'm now back. Sorry, my He's bootstrapping. decided to um, uh, fail. Uh, yeah, okay, we can start up. Uh, I'm just trying to check the notes for the first item here. Okay, uh, welcome to the core implementations meeting, March 3rd, uh, 2020. Um, uh, first up is upcoming and shipped releases. Um, so uh, as I was typing here, uh, frantically, um, the GoFS 0.5.0 release is on the way. Um, uh, we're missing a couple of components still. Uh, we're like uh, the primary uh, or concerns right now are the PR store uh, and <laughs> dependencies on that, um, and then potential dependencies on uh, noise. Uh, we may or may not ship noise with this release, um, and if that doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. Um, uh, but we do have a lot of our, like THT work blocked on uh, PR store factors, so we may have to find some way to work around that. Uh, that is the only update I have there. Uh, testing infra, do we have anyone on that team here? Uh, we have sort of a David. Um, O.2 launched today. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's all I know. Hang on, I think there's change log notes that I'll get a link to. Yeah, we may also just want to remove this from the core foundation. It's not really core foundation, so people in the meeting are not coming here. Or sorry, people in that group are not really coming to this meeting. Um, but I guess if anyone here has any updates around like the things they've seen. Okay. Now I can do is really just like link to the release change log. Like it, it was really like the work from Raul, Anton, Corey, uh, and Rob. So, so yeah, just check it out. It got released like 30 minutes ago. Fresh out of the oven or warm out of the oven. Okay. Uh, content routing. Uh, well, I mean, that's somewhat of uh, 0 0.5.0, but uh, I guess, Jacob, you want to get the update? Yes. So there is two weeks left until we are doing the RC. So scramble time. Um, yeah, so as Steven mentioned, we have an issue with sign pure uh, records where we need to make sure that we're not just ignoring all of the records for addresses that aren't signed um, because then we wouldn't be able to dial with like a IPFS form connect and give it an address. That wouldn't work, so that's bad. Um, so we're going to be working on um, getting support for that fixed. Um, and then the rest of the work is pretty much on track. Uh, we did have an issue that we need to take care of making sure that we support private DHTs, um, but that shouldn't be too much effort. So we should be able to land that in that two week period. So biggest biggest concern item right now, as Steven mentioned, is the uh, signed peer records. Um, so we'll work on making sure everything's okay with that. Little. It is now your turn. Uh, sorry, uh, some main gateways. It's me again. Uh, yeah, this week I didn't manage to land the PR, but I managed to fix uh, proxy tunneling, uh, which is a mode of HTTP proxy uh, that starts with connect. It's similar to HTTPS connect. A lot of people use that mode uh, for avoiding like firewalls, corporate firewalls, and uh, basically a lot of people don't really know which mode is used. So it's was kind of important, but not really to support that mode in case someone is using it for our subdomain uh, feature. Uh, so I found a way to make it work with less code. So I removed some code instead of adding it. Uh, but overall, it's good, I think. Uh, sadly, I had to put up uh, some fires. Uh, I did not manage to land the nestling tests, but I've seen Steven, you've uh, wrote some notes. So my plan for this week is to uh, address the no those nodes, uh, land the nestling tests, and hopefully uh, get the PR to the point when it's ready for the like, review, the like, final review. And that's it for me. Okay, uh, sounds about track. Um, bits of updates. Yeah, uh, so we're also 
uh, heading towards 0 0.5. Looks like we're pretty much on track with uh, the content routing changes that are happening. Uh, so this last week, I I made a couple of fixes and optimizations, and um, thank you to everyone who helped review JavaScript bit swap. Uh, still a little bit more to do there, but it's close to being merged. Awesome. Uh, stream content routing based, uh, <coughs> sorry, content based chunking research and improvements. Yes. So uh, after my conversation last week with uh, the terminal folks, uh, got even more uh, stuff into the uh, into the UX, so to speak, of the command line. Uh, got almost the stack chunker. Uh, interface working there are still some corner cases that I need to figure out how to how to deal with um, need to land the trickle deck linker which uh, they like it's almost almost there to convert to go IPFS I just need to, need to do another pass on it and also to get car output actually working so that we can uh, get others like terminal, for example, to uh, be able to quickly inject stuff into an existing Go IPFS uh, data store. And uh, there is some uh, lack of clarity when the Go IPFS side of this will uh, land. Maybe I'll take that on. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so like really super close. Uh, yeah, looking really looking, looking forward to get this done this week. Uh, Stardust Transport Discovery, this is new. Yeah, uh, I added it. So I've been uh, working on Stardust for a while. This basically uh, aims to improve uh, browser connectivity for JSIPFS. This is particularly important because uh, after the sync refactor, we are deprecating WebSocket Store. Uh, so basically, uh, this was a previous proof of concept from uh, Machi, and I've been uh, I basically rewritten all the implementation uh, using a sync as well as with the new connection transport and discovery interfaces. The current point, basically, uh, I made a, a PR, and uh, Jacob already made a first review, which I already addressed. So hopefully, this week we'll be able to get merged or at least nearby it. And that's it. Uh, okay. Any updates to other initiatives that you want to give? Okay. Uh, let's see. Design group proposals. Anything people want to discuss? Blockers asks. Uh, do you some oh, good. timing things related to like I guess the ordering of like peer store things finish and then there's a whole bunch of other, like the uh, the peer store finishing is then going to cause a whole bunch of like upgrades in the DHT to like take that all into account. Is that uh, yeah, finishing so, very soon? Um, we don't know. Uh, so like the, what I'm going to try to figure out today is like when that's going to finishing or how to work around it not finishing. Um, uh, I believe like the main dependency we actually have is like, okay, so like that would require protocol changes in the DHT itself. Um, it would also require like, or sorry, the, the thing we're currently actually using it for like events, uh, they're basically not wired up yet. Um, so the alternative is to say, okay, we're not going to have signed peer writing records in, in uh, this release. Instead, we're just going to like implement these events some other way. Um, and then we'll punt that. That's currently where, what I'm, I'm thinking we'll end up doing because like we're getting out of the wire here and, and like this seems like a pretty big change to have like right down the wire um uh which would mean that we'd end up having a protocol version bump but it's not going to be a big issue because like we'll basically have the three protocol versions um where like we'll have like the old dhd we'll have like the new and we'll have the new dhd which has no protocol changes but is like faster and then we'll have the um new new dhd uh that is like has no like query logic changes but has the slightly different protocol uh, but I don't foresee any issues there. Uh, so like, if it ends up getting punted, it ends up getting punted. It's not the best world, but it's not the world's the worst. So yeah, I'll have to talk to Rule about this later on today, probably in the B2B meeting. 
Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Also getting in the habit of being like, it is okay. We have built the system to allow for upgrades and protocol versions yes. is like, yep. I think a good direction. Yep. Any other blockers asks? Okay. Uh, I, I, sorry, oh. sorry. I, I was I, I was going to ask, uh, what's our story on the car importer you're still oh. measuring uh, that up? Well, given that you volunteered to take a look at it, um, and given that I'm now looking at my day and it's kind of full, uh, would you like to take a look at it? Yes, I'll, um, I'll totally yeah. take a look at it. Basically, yeah. we need two commands. We need uh, IPFS DAG export and IPFS DAG import. They need to do the opposite of each other. There's already a library, Go Car, which should do everything we need for us. Mm -hmm. So basically, they just need, like DAG import needs to take a, a car, read it in, or ideally a number of cars pass the command line and read them in. DAG export um, needs to take a like a single CID and read it out. For now, we don't need selectors. In the future, we need to make sure we can upgrade to selectors. Um, so like, what I recommend is like instead of just using a CID, probably have like a pass like slash IPFS slash CID, mm -hmm. so that you can like upgrade this like a select like a a string selector or something like that. Um, All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not very familiar with the CLI portion of WebFS, so it might take me more than today, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely yeah. dig into it. Thank you. It's it's not like the CLI portion, like if you don't get into the CLI backend stuff, that stuff is complicated and nasty. Um, but if you get into the CLI, like actually using it, it's actually really like, it's a very straightforward tool for just like building commands. So yeah, it's like actually awesome. like usually like when we onboard people, and like, or people in the community want to help out, the fastest way to get them help out is to say, please implement this command. Um, we've stopped doing that because we have too many commands. But. Uh, last question, do we have uh, actual car files that are not academic, but actual stuff that is working or that's a question for Michael, I guess? That's Something that I can test with. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Michael, Hannah, or Jeremy, probably Michael. Any other blockers, asks, questions? Alan. Uh, I just noticed that the JS IBFS 042 issue had been opened early to, earlier today, and I wondered if Alex would like to tell people what's going to be in it and when it might be dropping. Uh, yes, I would love to do that. Um, so what I want to get into this next release is the... Uh, Improvements to pinning, uh, which are going to make it's going to make IPFS add like way faster. Um, currently, we store all the pins in a DAG, uh, and manipulating that DAG gets quite slow over time. Um, so the idea is to store them in a data store instead of in the DAG, and it's like yeah, several orders of magnitude faster, uh, which is really cool. And it seems to scale much better to like you know tens of thousands of of pins. Um, so that's why I want to be the focus of the next one. Uh, so in order to get that over the line, uh, the PR needs updating and the and migration scripts for the repo will need writing. Um, but yeah, that should be super exciting. When's it going to ship? Uh, don't know. When it's ready. A uh, couple of weeks, maybe. That'll be fun. Any questions? Do we have already notifications of like, Hi, I know it looks like these two repos, like you could reuse the same repo and run a JS node and a Go node and they would both work, but like, please don't do that. Um, well, this like is, if, as far as I know, the first breaking, the first change that will make it so that the repos don't interact with each other, which is fine. We want to go down that route anyway. I just want to make sure there's enough flags. Uh, it's only if the version number is different uh, and it's not supported by the current version of so if you're running, it will it will make a fuss when you try and start up. Uh, yeah, so like I think the plan is actually implement the same feature in Go as well. Although the, this is tricky because like, yeah, I don't know how we can do this version number issue because like we are bumping the version number in Go for a change that I don't think JS will necessarily have. Um, uh, and like, well, and yeah. we're looking well, at we'll Badger see. anyway, so it's like. Maybe it is. Yeah, no, but we still have a share, like we still have shared data stores that work across both, uh, like LevelDB and FlatFS working both. Um, but yeah, okay, I don't know. I think that's too meaty of a discussion for this meeting. There might be uh, more of a like 
what are the capabilities required to access this repo rather than just like a just a version number mm -hmm. maybe this is a design review meeting oh good idea i don't know if it's ready for well i don't know if it's ready for design review because like well sorry the pinning is definitely ready for design review if you want to design review on that um uh, the, the whole general like cross compatibility discussion thing like that's a discussion which i guess maybe we should have a meeting on but like that's like a very open-ended thing so it's not really design review and reviews are like we have this thing we wanted to answer what is the answer um, uh, but actually yeah do you feel like the the, the um, pinning stuff is ready for design review uh, there are some still some outstanding comments uh, on that issue which i want to resolve when i when i update the pr so it'll be ready shortly after that sounds good Okay, maybe next week. Okay, any other questions? Parking lots? Cars? Bikes? No sheds. Okay. No bikes. No bikes are fine, just no bike sheds. Or if the, you have a bike shed, it must be painted gray. Boring gray. Okay. Uh, gray is fine as long as it's a black. Now we're back shooting. Okay. Um, then I think that's it for this meeting. Thank you all. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.